I really love writing stuff on my diary so much. Because I like to express my feelings, my fears, and even my secrets. It is my private sanctuary. But guess what I bought? I just bought my cheerleading uniform for tonight's game at my high school. And I bought other stuff, like a makeup kit, new earrings, and an expensive cologne. Yeah right, I only had my own money for my cheerleading uniform, and the rest of the stuff came from my little brother Henry's money. But he didn't notice that I took it since he was out with Atticus and Valerie. Hey, where the fuck is my money? I saved enough to buy a pearls necklace for Trixie. And now it's gone. Oh, shit. He already found out about his money. Um, Henry, why the fuck are you so mad at me right now? I can explain about the money. I swear to God. Emma, don't you even think about playing innocent with me. I just saved enough money to buy Trixie a pearls necklace since I promised to buy her one. And now it's gone. Henry. I needed more money to buy the rest of my stuff as I only had my own money for my cheerleading uniform for tonight's game. You know what? That's it. I can't take this shit anymore you sister fucker. Take this. Fuck you Emma. I really mean it. Fuck you. Henry Jeffrey Stevenson. What the fuck did I just tell you about flipping me off? Well, you started this by taking my money to buy yourself stuff. You selfish moron. Henry, don't start this again. Like the time mum and dad divorced 10 years ago due to a heated argument. I don't give a shit about who started this. I only care about my money. And I want it back since I promised Trixie to buy her pearls necklace. You know what? That's it. I'm not going to waste my time arguing with my brother over his money. I'm just going to my room to change into my cheerleading uniform and practice for tonight's game. Alright, now that I have my cheerleading uniform on, I am going to practice for tonight's game. Go team go. 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 Jeez, this is so annoying. I don't know what my big sister is hiding. I really want to know her secrets so badly. But what can I do to know them? Oh wait, just a fucking minute. I have a great idea. I am going to sneak into Emma's room, take her diary, and read it. Let's do this shit. Alright, since it's almost dinner time. I am going to sneak into Emma's room and take her diary. And once I get her diary, I am going to read it. Perfect, now that I'm in Im's room, I'm going to take her diary. Alright, now that I got Emma's diary, I am going to read it. Starting off with the Wednesday July 1st entry. So, here goes nothing. Wednesday, July 1st 1998. I attempted to secure Jeremy after I mistakenly got his message meant for Heidi. Friday, July 3rd 1998. I pranked mom twice. The first time was this morning when I prank called her by pretending to be her best friend. The second one was when I putted a whooping cushion on her chair during her shift at the hospital. Maybe I should put the diary back where it belongs before Emma finds out. Alright, now that I poo Emma's diary where it was, now I am going to leave her room before she catches me. Wow Fernando, your turkey is so good. But hey, after dinner. I want to show you the new medicament my ex-husband Peter sent me from Yukon. Sure, Julie. I would love to. Hey, Dad. I have a cheerleading routine at tonight's game. Can I go to my high school to celebrate Canada's victory? Sure, Emma. You can. But remember to get home at 8 p.m. Sorry I'm late. 
I was busy with something. Good thing we didn't eat all of the turkey, or else we wouldn't leave you anything left to eat. Yeah, I agree with Chloe. You're in time for the turkey. Ugh, whatever. I don't care about not having turkey for dinner tonight. Good, now let's eat the turkey. God, I would really like to thank you for this food you gave us. For this blended family I have, and for every day of life you gave us. Amen. 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 Wow, Jerry Bear. I can't believe Emma and her friends are having this wonderful cheerleading routine tonight. I know, right, babe? This would be the best event for our team. I agree with Jeremy. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Me six. And me seven. Good night, Starfield High School. I am Principal Tobias Riverstone. And tonight, we have 9th grader Emma Stevenson doing a routine with her 8th grade friends Rebecca and Mary. This is only meant to support our basketball team the Power Eagles. Let's begin with singing the National Anthem of Canada. Go power eagles go. 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 See Heidi. I told you it's a ceremony to support our basketball team. I know right honey. Hey, you. What the fuck do you think you are doing here at this school with your sister's diary? Yeah, I agree with my boyfriend. You know that this is not even your school. And plus, that's not even your diary. Attention to Starfield High School. I came here to tell everyone that Emma Stevenson has had intense crush on Jeremy Parker, but he always rejects her because he already has that stupid Heidi Mikhailoff as his girlfriend. Not only that, but she attempted to seduce him after she got his message meant for Heidi by mistake. She had pranked mom twice. Back on Monday, August 22, 1994, she superglued Mrs. Krabashkin's chair. Moving up to Friday, September 26, 1997, she gave Heidi laxatics as an attempt to get Jeremy's attention. And finally, Tuesday, October 20th, 1998, she stole and spent all of my money in order to buy herself stuff. What? The? Fuck. Did I just hear? Um, Emma. Is there something wrong? Why are you crying? You heard me right. I just wanted my money back. How do you guys like that? Well, guess what? Um, what? 
Fuck you all. Especially my sister. I hate all of you for being a bunch of stupid morons. Um, 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 um. Why do you three look so furious at me? Did I do something wrong? Or what? Are you mother fucking kidding me right now? Henry Jeffrey Stevenson, why the fuck would Yapu ever do this to your own sister? Look what you did. You just destroyed her life and humiliated her in front of everyone. That's it. I am taking you home so I can tell your parents about what you did to your sister. Come with me right now. Aside of using her secrets against her, he had humiliated her in front of the whole school. End of story. He did. What? Oh my god. Thanks for telling us about this Shauna Garsberg. We are going to deal with Henry about this. You can go back to your school to watch your basketball team ceremony. You're welcome Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson. And I hope your daughter Emma is okay. Henry Jeffrey Stevenson. What the fuck is the matter with you right now? We cannot believe you read your own sister's diary, and then told all her secrets to everyone at her school. You should know that only she can get access to it. Because it's her diary. Not yours. But mom, dad, and Zoe. I'm so sorry. I only did this because I wanted to get my money back because she spent all of it to buy herself stuff. Well Henry, do you realize of what you just did? You just humiliated her at her school. And now she's crying because of you telling everyone her secrets. That's it, mister. You are grounded for a whole month as an effect from now. And this means you are not going trick or treating with us this year. Now march upstairs to your room right now. You disgraceful excuse for a stepbrother. Man, this sucks. Emma should be the one to be grounded for spending my money, not me for reading her diary and using her secrets against her. This is so unfair.